Ubuntu Linux 2304 Luna Lobstep, released on 20th of April 2023, has a lot of interesting features. Codename is Luna Lobster and is available on ubuntu.com slash download. One of the newer one of the new things is the Subiquity installer that simplifies the installation and also is tightly with a lot of interesting technologies such as Azure Active Directory and like always updated version of Python, Java, Go, C, C++, Rust.net and a lot of interesting things. Released for um, everything, Intel, ARM, RISC and uh, of course uh, IBM mainframe. A lot of interesting things now Let's see how to install on macOS. Let's start from releases.ubuntu.com, selecting Ubuntu 2304 Lunar Lobster, and then you can select the desktop image, server image, netboot, tarball, or whatever suite your installation. In my case, I just downloaded the ARM edition for the um, Apple Silicon uh, which means uh, M1, M2, uh, normal, pro, max, uh, ultra, whatever. Once we downloaded the installation file, let's start the hypervisor any virtualization software. For example, I'm using VMware Fusion. As you can see, I'm able to create uh, a new virtual machine selecting the installation method. In my case, I have the ISO already downloaded in my download directory. So let me select it. And uh, once ag I did, uh, the VMware also proposed us some uh, uh, resources to assign 20 gigabyte of disk, uh, 4 gigabyte of RAM and two core as processor let me increase to four let's say that uh, the memory is okay but we can customize all this value okay now let's boot the proper installation media as you can see this is still the old installer because i'm installing a server edition so i need a really small full print and i really appreciate that they select uh, the old installer that is a text based but is good enough for our installation i know the nice new ui is, looks very pretty but it's it's okay so first question as you can see is very text based and is asking some question for example the language of our system there are a lot of different languages let me choose the english not the uk one as you can see there are a lot of different uh, uh, languages so feel free to customize your system i still think that uh, every uh, every system english is the native language for it uh, okay now it's checking out also the next component as you can see now uh, is asking us what type of installation let me choose the server one let me confirm uh, the mm, automatic configuration of the ethernet adapter and also is checking the closest repository for a fastest installation basically it downloads all the necessary packages from the uh, iso image then also complement with the latest package from the internet okay it's also mm, organizing the disk using the lvm mm, uh, system is making like a logical volume so let me confirm to destroy the disk and let me create a user in my case uh, with my username luca and let me choose a password and enter twice once we confirm we move to the next step that is actually to install an ssh server this is very convenient especially for connecting remotely and there are many other components like uh, micro KS, like Docker, like ATCD, a lot of things that might be handy. Okay, now we landed in this like log-like uh, screen that presents us all the choices and as you can see there is a spinning around mount and now 
is actually copying all the necessary files to the target location. It's going to take a while because it's installing all the packages, all the kernel, and so be patient. It depends by the performance of your system. It's just uh, a matter of time. This part of installation is completed automatically. We just wait for the packages to be successfully installed on the system and then we are ready to go. So in a couple of minutes, uh, Ubuntu will be ready inside the virtual machine in our MacBook and get ready for do whatever we want. And it's confirmed when we see the reboot now text in the screen. So the server is ready and we just need to reboot to start the newest operating system in the virtual machine. Once selected the reboot now, the virtual machine is restarting from the beginning. We need to uh, also unload the CD-ROM, just hit enter and we are going to see all the kernel text appearing on the screen. Okay, cool. Now, this is the first boot of the newest virtual machine. Are you excited? As you can see, it's detecting all the hardware, starting the important services, configuring the initial boot, uh, the first boot stuff, and boom, we are ready. We have a login screen and we are ready to go and uh, do whatever we want. The sky is the limit now. How to connect? Easy. From the terminal, just enter the credential, username and password, and you have a full terminal working for you. You can do the same, specify the IP address and connecting via SSH. For example, let me uh, see the output of a slash etc slash lsb release to confirm that this is Ubuntu 23.04 and ready to go. Is a Lunar Lobsters is ready is running inside our MacBook or running and anything running macOS. This is a Apple Silicon, but it will be the same output for your Intel version. You can update the repository and start installing whatever software you need it. Yay! Have a great day and let's automate more.